Which of the team toxins have you experienced? These team toxins have been identified by John Gottman at the Gottman Institute. Which ones do you see on your team? The first team toxin is blaming. It's the finger pointing. It's telling other people it's your fault that this didn't go well. It's your fault the sales are down. It's your fault employee engagement isn't as good as it, as it can be. It's the employee's fault that they are not as engaged as they should be. Blaming is the finger pointing, making everybody else to blame and saying it's their fault. The next team toxin, as you can guess, what comes after blaming? Defensiveness. Somebody says it's your fault. It's not my fault. I did exactly what I was supposed to do. I did the best that I could. I did the best that I could with the resources I had. This is the reason why I did it this way. You don't understand what it's supposed to look like. That's the second team toxin. As you might guess, with enough blaming and defensiveness going around, that's where contempt comes in. And with contempt, the tone changes from, I didn't like the work that you did there, or you, you are the reason why we didn't get the result that we were looking for, to you don't do good work. You're lazy. I don't like working with you. Now, as I, as I say all of this, you might be thinking, well, I would never say that out loud. If you're thinking it, it's still a team toxin in your system. Because let's be honest, you can tell when somebody has that contempt towards you. You might try to hide it as much as you can. That contempt comes into the team. The fourth toxin then is stonewalling. And this is when you just walk away. You say, forget about it. You don't even want to engage with that person anymore. So which of these toxins do you experience? And sometimes it's easier to see these toxins when other people do it. Being thoughtfully fit means you're aware enough to recognize when you're the one doing the blaming or getting defensive, having contempt or stonewalling. And the challenge then is to practice agility. When you practice agility, you are responding instead of reacting. There's lots of thoughtfully fit practices and strategies that you can use in order to identify how do you want to respond instead of reacting in a way that might cause even more damage or something that you're going to have to go clean up later. That's what we explored today in the Thoughtfully Fit Gym. For those of you who are Thoughtfully Fit Gym members, you can check out this workout in the on-demand in, in the on-demand section of the gym. For those of you who are curious, join us for the next Thoughtfully Fit Gym workout. We'd love to see you there.